My name is Lenore von Stein, and this is an episode of The Facts, uh, yet another episode of The Facts. This is a rehearsal for an episode uh, about um, a guy named Charlie, and uh, Charlie is a, a failed artist. And what I mean by failed artist is I mean someone who, who isn't satisfied enough, often enough, by the things they make. Uh, they don't make things that stun them. They, they don't, he doesn't get past the copying stage. Where there could be many of these, endless. Uh, and he hasn't found relief from uh, competitiveness and its uh, hero worship. Uh, anyway, so I'm sitting here tonight with several people. Uh, I'm standing there sitting. Uh, Jim Theobald, uh, Beth Griffith, Andrew Bolotowski, and Bern Nix. Uh, and so we t we're going to tell this story in, in, in music and words. You know, when words aren't enough, there's music. When music it's not enough. There's words. Is, uh, Charlie is brighter than, uh, he's nicer too than the culture around him. And he's, he's wary from inhaling this atmosphere. Um, he, he wanted to unravel the mysteries in his friend's personality, uh, but his acculturation didn't help him with that. Uh, so he, he doesn't finish his novels he, or his stories. He, he doesn't do what he's thinking about. He doesn't do what he's setting aside time to do. So let us do what we're thinking about and practice. What's the first thing we're going to practice? Blip, blip. Okay, we're going to practice some of the tunes that we're going to... Well, I said that already, right? Uh, so... It has a subtitle. Unavoidably betrayed. Yes. <laughs> Unavoidably. You know, think about that. When you get betrayed, they might not have been able to avoid it. <laughs> um, so um, who has the cue on this? I do. Can you... Can you give it to us and yeah. we'll try it? Yeah. To a stranger, to a stranger, to a stranger, a stranger how the hell are you? They sent us
well, I was somewhere else and just zooming along. And um, I, I wrote this. That this is about. I, I often go sit in public places when I'm editing music, and I hear these little snippets of things that people say as they walk by. Sometimes I can make out what they're saying. Sometimes I can't. And so that's what this whole thing is. It's this uh, walk by uh, music, uh, real life, that kind of real life. So let's. I just want to tell you a little bit more about Charlie. So, um, so as Charlie, you know, lived his life, uh, his sympathies got narrowed uh, as they as they narrowed. They got narrowed as they went through what worked and what didn't work, you know. And artists are in. Uh, a tricky, possibly adversarial position with established powers. And he found that ugly. Uh, he needed acceptance on his terms. So he changed his terms. Can't make a fool out of me. What's the next one we're going to rehearse? My view. Do you want me to count it off, or do you want to take it from? Nice. Okay. Third. Maybe yeah. just start from the queue. Start from the queue, unless you want to. You know, we can play it more than once. Place. We had this is a fairly new piece, so. Um, what do you want? One minute. Why don't you do the queue? Oh. his hermit time, Charlie bloomed like a rose, found more pieces of his childhood self. <laughs> that must be Charlie's childhood self. <laughs> um, okay, let me tell you a little bit more about this guy, Charlie. Um, so Charlie, you know, decides it's, you know, no go to be an artist. So he becomes a crafts person and he, he starts his own business. I'm and sorry, what? He becomes a crafts person? Crafts person. Oh. Crafts. Not a crafts person. Oh, crafts person. Crafts. I oh, thought craft. it was too crafts. Oh, when well, I thought it was crafts. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Well. Anyway, Charlie becomes a crafts person. Got it? And uh, he, he sets up his own business. And, and so he's not making new things. He's making copies of things that already existed. He's a craftsperson, you know. He's not, he's not stretching the limitations of expression. He's not changing the way we look at the world. He's just 
adding pretty pieces to it. Uh, and, and this leads to a political career. And he's, a, he's very articulate, he's smart, Charlie. And, but he, can all, he knows how to be humble and spokesperson. He's a good spokesperson for powerful interests. So he, he gets a little bit of a career. And that leads to a job as a TV interviewer because he shows up, you know, consultants on these TV shows and he gets his own TV show. And, um, and he has a kind of skepticism that people like. It seems like he's really questioning, even though he never really is and he doesn't find anything new because he's really a flunky of the powers that be. Okay. Uh, so, but he does a good job looking like he's something else. Um, where have we seen that? Uh, so what are we going to do next? What next are we going to do? Next to new. Okay. So who has the, who has the cue here? Gene. Okay, give us the, let's do it. Let's hear it. So uh, I don't know what that means next to new, although I don't know. Next, um, lots of times I start things, and I, I I often I often start writing something, and I have the title for it, and I I like the catchy title, and I'm I, I'm worried about myself about you know that I get that I just am shallow enough, just like the catchy title, and um, but I go with it because I got nothing else. And uh, I build the thing, and I, you know, the title seems to stand off. And so occasionally I change it, but if it still works after a while, I, but you know, not that I know what it means. You know, it doesn't. Well, you know, I forget. So, um, okay, back to this guy Charlie. So Charlie, uh, yeah, I made this guy up. Charlie was married for twenty-two years, and his wife's name was Banana. Um, I don't know what her last name was, but anyway. Uh, she's from an upper class family with bohemian leanings, and that's why they named her Banana. They named all the kids after fruit. And um, but she's comparatively conventional, and and that often happens in bohemian families. Some of the kids, you know, revolt and they become more right wing than their parents. Um, and and she so she's a banker, and in, in addition to her full time job, Banana. Uh, she writes articles about business women, and and she also writes about movies and painting. And she has a pretty good career. She she also makes quilts. She's down home, and she plays sports. And in the bathroom, she displays. She has a soap label collection. Soap labels from all over the world that she collects these. Um, and that's uh, a little bit about banana. There'll be more in the in the episode about uh, the person banana, whose last name we don't know. And because we don't have Charlie's last name either. These are one name characters. Um, so what are we playing next? Fixed. Fixed. Okay. Um, I'm not in that, right? That's child crying, right? Yeah. Okay. So I want to say a little bit about this so that, you, I mean, it's still, it's still a work in progress, right? This, I, I'm walking down the street and I, and I see the most a most heart rendering scene where this child is 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 pouring his heart out to a, a person who I think was his babysitter who could 
who was didn't want to hear it, just wanted the kid to shut up and keep going, and you know, and and some some guy in the street stops and chastises the kid for giving the babysitter a hard time. Meanwhile, the kid is is so un so. He's saying, I, he said, and I put and made the lyrics out of it. I'm wrecking the whole world. He said he was so, he was so upset with himself. Somebody had told him what a bad person he is, and he'd quite taken it to heart the way people do, especially children. And but nobody could hear, at least of the people that he was with, this suffering that this kid was going through. It, it just, it was heartbreaking. Let's hear it. It's a, you know, it's a little microcosm of, of all our situations in a way, you know. The, um, so, uh, Banana and Charlie, they're only married for 22 years, which is a long time, but, um, but not, uh, but not, a, you know, forever. And uh, they, they, uh, they become more and more frightened of each other. They become, they, they're worried that the, each other will betray them, each other. They'll betray each other. And um, so they um, they are they they're rude to each other. They're they're and they get be hurt feelings. And finally, they escape each other. And um, and both of them go on to marry again. But uh, she's uh, marries not she's not happy with her new marriage. Charlie's a little more happy with his new marriage. Um, okay. And so what are we going to try now? More building. More building. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, who's got the cue here? Okay. Okay. Hit it. Jim looking at me? <laughs> He's not looking at me. I, got I want him to look at me. He has to look at me. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> 
Second thing I was gonna say, uh, this this thing about about uh, Charlie uh, failing as an artist, as a changer of the world, um, which is what I see my role as, uh, even if you know I, I don't seem to have much effect. Uh, that's what I think the job, big part of the job. My job is as I see my job. And um, Charlie didn't want to uh, expose his feelings to ridicule, and I don't want to either. Uh, but I, it, it, it's in the it's in the job, as far as I can see. And and that's what that was a big problem for Charlie. Uh, she, he didn't want anybody to have that kind of power over him, knowing what he was actually feeling. Uh, not that they would know from his work, because I don't think people know from mine. But um, you never know. You never know. You don't want to take a chance. Why risk it? You know what I mean? It's a bad world out there. Um, so we have just a little bit more time. And was there one more that we wanted? I know there's so more than one. More criteria. OK, this is this is I'm singing on this, too. Um, Lord, help us. OK, so let's it's another one of these. Uh, but you, maybe you'll be able to understand the words a little bit better. Uh, give the cue, please. There I am. Okay. Yes, that's my cue. Okay. When I told I used my pen. That's what I'll say for now. And then at the end I found a house. It's made me So that you always said. Me too, me too, and trees and files. Did we get to the end, right? Yes. A little hangover. The little. It's amazing. It's amazing when these things happen, when they actually work. Um, okay.
of here. We're going to walk out of here on our, on our four legs. And uh, this is the back. This is a rehearsal for Charlie's Fantasy. And in the next episode, we're going to talk more about what Charlie's Fantasy is. And uh, good night. This is the problem. Oh, no. We had a problem, ladies and gentlemen, with the timing, and I get really upset about it. Good night.